Is there anyone on here that feels broken, that feels they have been abandoned, they are a blind sheep? Is there someone on here that is thinking about committing suicide? Stop where you're at. I've been in your shoes. I was abandoned, rejected, tortured, tied to a bed, poop forced down my throat, beaten on a daily basis, walked the streets when I was a toddler, with bruises and blemishes up and down my body. My eyes were black where they beat me. No telling how long I was tied to the bed. I was bullied really bad in school and picked on and falsely accused. Throughout years of my life, I didn't want to live. I went through suicide thoughts, suicide attempts, ran my car through the red light when my whole world was crashing down, hoping that truck would hit me, but I cannot explain what happened, a miracle itself. At the four-way stop, I didn't stop. I kept going. I went right through, but the truck, what happened to it? I can't explain it. I've shared the story time and time again, being shot at by gangs. But God's grace and his mercy let me live to tell the testimony of Jesus Christ. I've been with the cartel, drug dealers, witchcraft, devil worship, you name it, domestic violence, women and men. It's both both sides. Abuse. Have you been in that? Have you been through these things? Because we can relate, but I can tell you there's an escape. And that's Jesus Christ who died on the cross of Calvary for your sins according to the scriptures. That he died and he was buried and that he rose on the third day for your sins according to the scriptures. And once you believe that, you're saved and sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise till redemption day. So welcome to the family if you believe that. Because once you're saved, you're always saved. Once you're baptized automatically with the Holy Spirit, you cannot take the Holy Spirit out of a believer that truly trusted in the finished work of the cross at Calvary, that Jesus died for your sins. He came in this fallen world and paid that debt, and he loved you when the whole world turned their back on you. Just as he did me, we can relate. My shoes fit yours. In many ways, whoever you are out there that needs to hear this message, you are loved. And you have been forgiven because Jesus paid it on the cross. And he cried out and said it was finished. You are loved. And you are not rejected. 